All right. One of the students in my Facebook actually asked me about this question. I think this is uh, Modern Math 2014 past year paper. And this is paper two, question number three. Yeah, because the student actually told, told me that after he he saw the marking scheme, but she's, she can still she still cannot understand it. So I decided to make a video for her. All right, so, okay. So let's go into this question. A water rocket is launched from a platform and then the height in the meter of the water rocket at the time t second after launch. So you have the equation. So over here, you have some information. H actually represents the height in meter and t actually represents the time in second. All right, then the question asks, when does the water rocket hit the ground? So, okay, so some you have some keywords over here. So the first thing is, I uh, first thing I want to do is, I hope you can imagine uh, what is happening here. So I will ra randomly draw a platform. Okay, then this one is a ground. Okay, so this is a ground. So the straight line here is a ground. And then this is a platform. So what I'm doing here is basically I'm launching a water rocket here. And then this water rocket at the end, you are going to hit the ground. So this is what happened. And then the whole process is he recorded down and then he have this information, which is H equals to negative two T square plus three T plus two. All right. So yes. Yeah, so the question asks you, uh, asks you about when does the water rocket actually hit the ground? So what happened is the question want to find when actually the water rocket will hit the ground. They want to find the time. All right, so this this uh, this question is actually quite easy, but then the key word here is you have to understand what's the meaning for hit the ground. All right, hit the ground means what? So you just remember, okay, this this one is the ground. Okay, so at the ground itself, at the ground itself, the height will always equals to zero. All right, this is something very important because at the ground there's no height. All right. Of course, the platform here have the have the height. Yeah, if you're very good in this kind of question, you know actually the height of the platform is actually is two meter. Why I know it's two meter, because because the question says that he actually launched the rocket at the platform. This one Mean, means what? Mean before he start to launch the rocket, the time actually equals to zero. The time equal to zero, you substitute zero into the t here. Mean negative two multiple zero plus three multiple zero plus two. So basically, you will get height equals to two because both of this one already become zero. Okay, so yeah, this is the idea. But however, the two meter over here is not important. I just want to show show uh show you about this only. So this question is very simple. So what you can do is you just substitute the h equals to zero because it because the question want to find when does the water rocket will hit the ground. So I will substitute h equals zero into this equation. So you see what I have is zero equals to negative two t square plus three t plus two. Alright, then I will need uh yes then I want to factorize but normally when I factorize I want to make sure something is my t square is um uh, is always positive so i multiple negative for everything or something they call it move to the other side so i got 2t square minus 3t minus 2 equals to 0 then i will factorize it of course 3t is simple a uh, 2t square is simple is 2t and t in order to get negative 3t i will going to put 2 and 1 and negative and positive All right so over here if you solve this one out you basically you have got two answer for t this is 2t plus 1 will equal to 0. Then t will equal to negative 1 over 2. Just move the 1 to the other side and then move the 2. All right. Or when t minus uh, t minus 2 equals 0, t will equal to 2. However, you know time actually is, uh, you, you know t actually is time. And time actually in second. So I write second for here. But the problem is time is impossible to get negative value. This is the reason why you will reject the negative value for time. So I will say rejected. Because what? Because you get you cannot measure like negative one hour or negative five minutes. 
There's no such thing called negative five minutes. So you just need to understand time is impossible to get negative, and so therefore you only have one answer, which is t equals to two. So if you got t equals to two, what is the meaning of of that? Meanings that when you launch the rocket, they just take two seconds. The rocket actually will hit the ground. So therefore, the final answer will be two second. Right? It's not really hard. So yes, for this kind of question, yeah, if if you couldn't understand the keyword something like hit the ground, yeah, there's quite hard for you for you to do this kind of question. So yeah, you just understand ground actually means there's no height. So the height is actually zero. Okay. Anyways, I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.